I don't get you. Well, that happened. Well, I have business at the gallery. I will see you tomorrow about the paintings. Tomorrow? Mm-hmm. The man just died. Don't, don't you feel any grief? Any remorse? The man is dead. His body isn't even cold. Uh, where is his family? Did he even? Did you even contact his family about no. it? No, I didn't. The man is dead and no longer screaming. He's somewhere other than here. All I care about is getting his art sorted out and out of my hair. Gave me enough grief with his attitude. And now I have to rebuild the gallery. What, its reputation? No. That man, that idiot, destroyed a $10,000 sculpture. He's supposed to pay the artist. I've got patrons waiting for their paintings and bills to pay. He destroyed my wallet. That's the real tragedy here. Anyway, I have a gallery to run. I will see you tomorrow. See you, Dr. Lillian. It's not that I hated him. It's just that he was a pain in my ass. Tastes like crap. Anyways, did you find the paintings? Yeah, yeah, found the paintings. I also found his diary so we can figure out what belongs to who um, pretty quickly. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> because your first client is out that door. Uh, hello, um, good, nice to, nice to meet you. Uh, what is your name? Bonjour, je suis Jean-Pierre. Je sais que vous avez un peinture pour moi. Oh, by the way, he only speaks French. I don't. You do. Good luck. Uh, uh, oui, oui, uh, rentrez, s'il vous plaît. Merci. It's one of the last ones. You even tell me P gets paid that much. All these people just come in to get this man's work. It's amazing. Trust me. I've seen a painting of a dot sold for more than yours and mine life savings combined and doubled. If you call it art, people will buy it. Anyways, I have to get back to the gallery for a short while. Try not to destroy anything while I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. Oh, Logan. Are you sure there was no family at the funeral? It's Dr. Logan and no, no one. Not even the Imam guy knew the family. <laughs> For all we know, he drove them off or killed them. Bye. Ta-ta. Where is that last painting? No. No. Not necessarily.
Hello, Dr. Logan? Um, yeah, I think I found something. It's, 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 it's nothing like we've seen before. This is different, really different. I need you to come back down right now, as soon as possible. All right, thank you. What's so important that I had to come back straight away? Oh, uh, Dr. Logan, you need to come see this. It's really important. Oh, it's Dr. Logan now. Uh, Wait, is that? You think he made it? Well, of course he made it. His signature's at the bottom, dumbass. Well, I mean, it's nothing like his usual artworks. Starters, it's actually pretty. Pretty? Pretty doesn't cut it, my girl. This is brilliant. It's amazing that he painted something like this. But... When? This was painted the night that he died. So Khalid painted that just before he died. That's really creepy. What's Jesus. creepy is your obsession with somebody who may or may not exist. I have an idea. What's your idea? To honor Khalid's memory and make us some money. I don't know if I like where this is going, but continue. Okay. You said earlier that you wanted to honor Khalid's memory. Mm -hmm. Well, we can do that. We can put this painting up in the gallery. We were never able to find his family. What we can do is we put it up in the gallery along with his other more well-known works and the ghost story of the crazy artist and his fiery temper will get people drawn in. We'll make a fortune. This this will save us. This will save the gallery. I don't know, man. I don't think it's that amazing. It's brilliant. I don't even know if we'll even find his family based off of this painting. You don't know how successful this will be. Well, no, of course not, but it makes sense. This was painted right before he died. The, be the closer to his death, the better. I bet my last dollar that someone somewhere has already started writing a blog about, uh, about the artwork and uh, talking about how the mad artist Khalid Al-Simi uh, So Logan, what uh, happens? Uh, what if it doesn't make money at the gallery, Logan? And then what? That's for me to worry about. Oh, that must be the last customer. I'll, I'll go get it. It's taken him forever to get here. Uh, sorry. Hello. Good to see you. I'm so, so sorry it's taken me so oh, long to get oh, here. Oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. But Logan, Logan, what are you doing? An experiment. And you are my guinea pig. All right. Tell me, what do you think? <gasps> this painting is going to be displayed at an art gallery down the street in a few days. Um, Until then, you are the first person to see it. Here's, here's... Soon. It's all right. We'll come back soon. Don't even worry about it. What the hell just happened? We just started a domino effect. By tomorrow, the gallery will be packed and the damages will be paid for in full. <laughs> because of Khalid's death? No. That patron is addicted to social media. She'll spread the word about Khalid's painting and it will become a media frenzy. <laughs> Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to take a photo. You're going to take a photo of it? And that way we can make some copies. Hmm, that's odd. It didn't come out. Try your camera. Try. Okay. Huh. 
How what? Perhaps bad light? I mean, it's a flash. Well, this is going to be a bitch if this ever becomes famous. What if that's a good thing, though? How is that a good thing? Think about it. No one can copy this painting, and no one can take photos of it. Steal it. It's the last thing that Khalid made before he died, so it's the only one of its kind. A one of? A one of a kind. Mm. Mm -hmm. Say, shouldn't you be getting back to the gallery at any moment now? No. Like, I don't get it. Am I supposed to? Like, how do I admire this? Your, your beauty is unparalleled, if you will. This, it doesn't make a difference. You're not that good. I said it. You're not that good. I don't get what the thing is with you, but you're not that good. You are another painting, a cog in the mix of time. You don't make sense. Nothing you do makes sense. It's really weird, dude. Maybe you did make a difference in someone's life. But it wasn't mine, so everyone else's doesn't count. What makes you special anyways? What, you were made by Khalid? You're nothing. I don't know what Logan sees in you. But I know it's all monetary. Doesn't think you're pretty at all. Sure, you look nice, but I don't see the point. You should make sense. You were made by Khalid. He made all of this. You telling me this is you telling me all these things that made sense did not apply to your latest work? This is I've been sitting in this goddamn gallery for years, waiting for something special. I didn't think it was gonna be you. You look nice, but you ain't special. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Khalid? Come back from the dead to fight me? I don't think your art's any good. Think you're out shit? What you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? What, just grab me from my legs and pull me down to hell? Good! At least I'll be somewhere else other than Earth. At least I won't have to look at your paintings anymore. At least I won't have to look at this! Trash! You had so many other good things going for you and decided at the last minute you were gonna kick the bucket. Hey, let's make something that looks like this. No. I don't like you. You may be pretty, but I don't like you. Let's get that through our heads. Let's get, see, I don't like you. I don't like this painting, even though it looks nice. I don't like it. I don't know the meaning, and I don't know your purpose. I don't like you. I don't like you. I have no idea what you're, talk, what you're all about. I don't know what talk you talk, and I don't know what you're trying to walk. But I don't like it. You, you look. You look uncoordinated. You look bad. You make Khalid look good, but that's not the point right now. Wake up, sleepyhead. I've got you some breakfast and some fan mail. The gallery misses you. I've had enough of the gallery and the stands and the people coming in asking me all sorts of questions. Isn't gallery work like your area of expertise? I've closed the gallery for the day. I got you a long black. Thank you. Thanks, Logan. So, what happened this time? A surge of insane people come back? No. I'm installing some security measures. Some bulletproof glass for the paintings, a security guard, and a metal detector. Seriously, someone tried to burn the painting. What? What the hell? Why wasn't I told of this? Because I took care of it. Plus, I found some marvelous banana bread. Cost a fortune, but I bet it's going to be great. Logan, I wasn't told of this. How come? How come I wasn't told? I just did. Warmed up or as it is? Ugh, seriously? Eat your banana bread, man. Eat it the way you want. <sighs> Not worth it. 
All right, what's wrong now? What's wrong? You're seriously asking me what's wrong? Should I just go back to my breakfast then? Logan, we've had this painting up for almost a month now, and the media's still talking about it, and we still know nothing about Khalid, and I have to stretch whatever truth I have about him. You and I both know nothing about this man, not even his birthday, and yet we're still raking in the dough. But that's fine by you, isn't it? Because it's your gallery. Oh, you're right. I have no problem whatsoever. You just get to sit here all day reminiscing about a man that you hardly even knew. <laughs> the man wasn't just a mystery to the public. Believe me, I tried finding information. I tried getting him to open up. I found nothing. Nothing! You found nothing about the man. No childhood stories, no high school stories, not a speeding ticket, nothing about this man. Not even a favorite color. Khalid didn't have a license. All he had was a credit card, an Opal card, and a loyalty card for the art gallery. Everything else was based on his current name. And nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Current name? His real name. You're keeping something from me, old man? Keep that attitude, and you won't get to see me grow old. You're hiding something from me, and you need to tell me. You have to tell me right now. It was a bitch to find out, but basically it turns out that he only took one of his middle names and he changed that to be his surname. So that made it very difficult and became a real pain in my ass. Do you know any more? What if I did? What's it to you anyway? Why is this? So that you can get some closure, some clarification? Or is it just so you can feel good about yourself, that you're doing something neighbourly? The man is dead. Get over it. I even went out of my way to find information about him. And believe me, that information needs to be buried with him, six feet under. What do you know, Logan? Why? What does this have to do with you anyway? Is this something you're not telling me, Diana? Oi, Miss Diana, you forgot this! Thanks, security guard. What do we have here? An explanation. Maybe we'll finally figure out what you're all about, Mr. Painting. Okay, that's the day he died. Yeah, that's the day he died. All these are blank, all right. Every day. It was as if today was meant to break me like it did five years ago. The flashbacks keep haunting my mind even as I sleep now. I couldn't afford the medication before, and now I must fix Dr. Logan's problem. I was already in hell, and today has proved it. Again, Dr. Logan, I didn't see that thing. And it was just that like thing was loaned to me by the National Art Gallery in Canberra. I wouldn't be surprised if the artist has already called the director to tell him. Why can't it be deemed as a mistake? The damn thing was transparent and it looked like trash. Oh, I could say the same thing about your outfit. Look, at the end of the day, I'm the one who's going to have to pay for it. And trust me, I'll be coming to you to pay me back whether you like it or not. How much could it possibly cost? Intern, how much was that piece that Khalid destroyed? It was $10,000, sir, not including shipping and handling. 
مو معقول مو معقول كيف شخص عاقل براسه بده يدفع هالمبلغ اوي 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 Before you start reciting the Taliban code of conduct, how about you go home and sort this shit out? You mean to tell me someone's willing to pay $10,000 for some piece of plastic? I ain't seen people sell used bath water. This thing that you call plastic is just as useless, but somebody is willing to pay for it. And today, that someone looks like you. I can't even pay for my damn Opel card. And now I have even more debt? Just take my paintings and use them to make your money. Oh, sure. And how about I get some magic beans and, and a magic lamp, Aladdin? <sighs> I've, I've done all this work for you and you can't do this one thing for me? Why? Aladdin, Khalid, if you don't pay me back that money, I'm going to drop you as an artist for this gallery. Take some fucking responsibility, for God's sake. If you don't pay me back, I'm gonna have to shut the gallery and it'll be on your head. It was bad enough that I had some debt already from my, the medication that my therapist gave me for my anxiety. But now this? How can I even buy myself bread? I remember being angry, stressed, and worried about how I'm even gonna pay for the piece. I don't even have a TV at home. How the hell am I going to pay for this? I knew I had to calm down, but I found it hard to paint the same red and yellow as before. When I looked up, I found myself in my art store. I let myself go and bought some random paint. I think they were this new reflective paint, something shiny. All I remember is buying them, regretting my decision, got home and started to paint. I tried to paint as I did before trying to get my emotions down. But it wasn't working, not tonight, not last night, and not the last few weeks. I have no idea. It was working before and now it just frustrates me more. Rabbi Farijni min Alright, I'm gonna assume that was a prayer. I nearly destroyed my brush and I couldn't afford to break it tonight. I was running out. I forgot to buy it with the fucking paint. Again, I stopped. I couldn't paint the same painting as I used to before. It was a form of therapy after what happened. After they died, I didn't even get the chance to see them before they were buried during my time at the police station. I didn't even get to say goodbye. Fuck, I didn't even... Fuck, I don't even know where they're buried to this day. They're dead. No more birthdays. No more anniversaries. I lost everything. I had nothing. I couldn't. I was losing it again. I could feel the sweat on my hands. It was hot in the room, and it was spinning. I didn't eat the entire day. I gave the last bread to I gave I gave the last piece of bread to Dr. Logan. I'm now regretting that decision. Somehow, I just started painting. I can't describe it. I was moving my wrist and hand, but I wasn't thinking. I was painting. I can't describe what I was painting, or anything. All I knew is I was doing something, and it was calming. I think I worked on it for the majority of the day and night. I didn't even notice it was dark until I couldn't see the painting. It was 11 p.m. when I finished the painting. I stared at it, and I couldn't understand it. It was made by me, and I couldn't understand my own fucking creation. What even is this? Is this my life, this painting? What is it even about? My struggles? It's nothing. What is it? Nothing. Why did this happen to me? 
Why? To my wife, Nadia. My beautiful daughter, Yasmin. Why? Why did this? Why did it happen to me? <sighs> did I really do this? Did I kill them? Did, did they feel pain? Oh God. I knew we had some troubles, but I swear, I was gonna fix it. I was gonna try. Let me see you guys. I swear to God. I knew. I knew. I knew I could do better. But now I'm nothing. I lost my family and I have nothing. That is when I saw them. For the first time in years, I saw them. It was Nadia and Yasmin. They were there, wearing white and looking peaceful, as if distrust didn't even exist in their mind. They were smiling at me, as if happy to see me. I felt a wave of emotions in my heart. They were in the painting. All of a sudden, I can't believe I'm saying this, I don't think it was real, but it felt beautiful. Thank you for everything, for all the memories, the fun, and the endless joy. Thank you. I never thought that after all this time, I would be able to go into bed without medication. Or any thoughts other than happiness. I'm going in a new direction, and I will get the money for Dr. Logan. I, I will become a better person one day at a time. I, I will get better. I, I will. And I thought you were dead, so we're both wrong. Want some? Yeah, sure. Appreciate it. Hey, you know why I was so invested in finding out Khalid's backstory and, you know, his life? It definitely wasn't because of his funeral being a joke, no one showing up. It's because I remembered my dad's death, how I felt terrible that I didn't see him before he died, and because I believed that he wouldn't die so early. I thought he'd be there for when I got married, when I had kids, um, when I was successful. I'm so sorry. You must miss him terribly. Yeah, I do. But I couldn't get out of bed when it began because I was a mess. But my family was supportive and everyone was there. We all missed him dearly. We all decided to take our most cherished memories of him and remember him for those good times and the happy moments instead of the sad times and the ugly, ugly moments. Mm. Really helps. I hope you get, you get to see him again one day. Maybe I could pass on a message if I kick the bucket first. <laughs> uh, thank you, definitely. Very appreciated. 
Hey, you do know that Khalid was painting as a form of therapy, right? He just gave me the paintings to sell. I would buy and display that shit. All right. Uh, damn it, it's crap. Ever since that bastard passed away, I haven't been able to find good banana bread. I've tried all the banana breads between Rockdale and fucking North Shore. It's all been rubbish. Clid used to bring me the best banana bread down to the gallery when he came down. And now he's gone. He's gone! Dr. Logan, not to um, surprise you or anything, but you do realize that Khalid made your banana bread, right? Wait, what? Yeah. Every single time you guys, uh, you went over to his house to come and bicker about some paintings, um, I could smell the baking from across the house. Khalid did that for me? And, I wish I'd known. And, look on the bright side, he left the recipe somewhere in the house. <sighs> There's something we need to do. What? We need to find the graves of Nadia and Yasmin. Khalid's wife and kids. He deserves to be with them in death. Grave digging? Can we do that legally? No, 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 we can't do that legally. No, 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 Logan, no grave digging. No All right, grave digging. legal grave digging. So, what do you plan to do with the painting now that you've found what you were looking for? Good question. You know what? I think I know just what to do. Thank you.